Hello everybody, this is Kai from Raising the Bar and in this video I want to show you how to um, uh, I want to explain what is the law of large numbers and how we can model that law in Excel actually it's pretty easy you just put several commands and in the first column I put the command for generating a coin and the format of the command is here I use two Excel commands one of them is if and the other is rand which is short for random and what is written here says that 30% um, of the time we obtain 0 and the remaining 70% of the time we obtain 1 okay and you can see more about this in my previous video about exercise 2.2 so what do we do here we put the name of the variable here it's a coin and then we introduce the first command here and I have already copied that command to the uh, 100 cells below it it's very easy you just pick this small square in the lower right corner of the cell and then pull it down until you fill all uh, 100 uh, cells below below this one okay and then in the second command in the second column we need to put just natural numbers this is also pretty easy suppose that I don't have this for suppose that I don't have this then what do I do here I put one in the first cell two in the second cell then select two cells and then pull by this uh, green small square in the lower right corner and pull down until I fill all the 100 cells that I need and then why do we do this it's because in the third column we need to put proportion like suppose that I'm here in uh, I want to put a proportions a proportion of ones that we obtain in 10 observations okay so temporarily I can oh uh, the command is here you can see the command in um, in the formula bar so what do we do here we say sum and in this sum we indicate the cells over which we want to do the summation okay these are my cells there are 10 of them okay and um, And uh, in addition to selecting the cells, you need to put here the dollar signs, okay? And this is pretty easy. After you select the cells, you press F4, and those dollar signs will be automatically inserted. The dollar signs we need because we don't need... Uh, we, we need that the first cell, the first reference cell to be fixed, okay? The second cell, A11, it should change as we move down, okay? So we put the sum of the observations in the first 10 cells and we divide by the number of observations and the number of observations is, is right here in the second column it is 10 in this case okay so after you put that formula in one cell you can copy to all other cells and actually we, uh, we have 100 of them so i can go down show you what happens here so this is like for the 100th observation what we have for the coin this is the number of observations this is the proportion of ones in 100 observations and for convenience I put here constant numbers in the uh, last two columns the, the uh, meaning of those uh, numbers is explained in this chart that I have here the lower bound is this uh, straight line at 0 0.7 minus 0 0.05 okay and the upper bound is the opposite is 0 0.7 plus 0 0.05 okay and you can see the formula here like this one is as I said 0 0.7 minus 0 0.05 and the other one is 0 0.7 plus 0 0.05 okay why do I do that 
it's because along with the proportions on my chart I want to see the lower and upper bounds and when I uh, obtain different realizations of the sample I want to see how my proportions fit in the band between these two bounds lower and upper bound okay right now the sample is fixed but if I press F9 to recalculate the spreadsheet then the picture will change instead of pressing F9 on the quick access toolbar here you can put uh, there is an option you can put this button and when you press this button the result will be the same as pressing F9 okay so if I press this button I see that the uh, chat changes my sample changes and what I see uh, the result on the chat also changes okay so you can see that for uh, a small number of observations the deviation from uh, of the proportion from the true probability which is 0 0.7 can be pretty large it so when I press F9 you can see on the chat how the um, the proportions change for all numbers of observations that we inserted here from 1 to 100 and you can see that the first few proportions can be pretty far from the true probability which is 0 0.7 and as the number of observations increases the proportion becomes closer and closer to the true probability 0 0.7 okay and uh, you can see also that actually in order for the proportion to fit into the band the number of observations should be pretty big like in this case sometimes even 100 is not enough you increase the number of observations say to 1000 sometimes to 10,000 and even at 10,000 sometimes you can see um, that the uh, proportion will be pretty different from 0 0.7. Okay, thank you.